Hey coach, so excited you found us on YouTube. If you are new to the channel, my name is Coach Sam. I have been a coach for uh, six years and I hope you guys enjoy this video and uh, we'll see you in just a moment. Them here from Underdog Hoops. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about what app I use for my players to effectively communicate with them and their parents all in one place. Um, I did have an app that I used a few years ago, and I, you know, found a better one, and I actually really prefer this one now. Um, so. I'm going to break it down with you guys. I want to show you guys what it can do um, because I believe that this is important to have a central source, especially during COVID because for my team, if someone tests positive, we got to notify everyone, uh, parents, kids, everyone that was in contact, uh, the whole program has to shut down you know, that type of thing. So we need to be to have this information on a moment's notice uh, and it's all right here. So first what we'll do is we'll go through the events. So to schedule events, um, very simple, just click on the events tab uh, right here if you're not already in there and then you're gonna click event and then you can add one you can add a repeating one, or you can just schedule them. I like to just schedule them. And then, you know, you put your date that you want to schedule it for. So let's just put today, make it simple. And then let's say you had something at six o'clock and then you want to specify what, if it's AM or PM. And then let's say it ends at seven. And we'll just make that. No, that's the end date, my bad. All right, so we will put the 7 p.m. end time. And then you name your event. So practice. And then if you want to put like meet 15 minutes early or this is actually another thing that you can do. If you want your kids to be on time for practice, this is something that you could do. You could just say, um, you could put the meetup time as I said it was six. So usually I tell my kids to be there 15 minutes early, let's say. And I just put 545 and it'll show up as 545 on their uh, schedule. And then for description, just put whatever you want, and then you can put the location where you are gonna have your practice. Also, there's a few things that I like about this is that it will remind them. Uh, I like to send it out one day in advance, just so they know. Um, and at 5 p.m., whatever you wanna do it, uh, that really doesn't matter unless you wanna have it go out immediately. Um, members must confirm attendance if you tell your players that they have to confirm their attendance, then that just takes attendance in the system for you. Um, but you can also just say everyone's attending by default and then they can decline an event and say they're not coming. Um, and that's what I prefer to do because, you know, I'll just take attendance at practice or something like that. So that's my way of taking attendance and keeping my players honest with, with me uh, and holding them accountable. And then you can put uh, visible for invitees or visible to all members. And then attendance, you know, I'd really prefer that to be viewed visible by the administrator. Uh, so that'd be like the coach or someone uh, and then, or visible by everyone, but I'd prefer, you know, for my case, 
I usually do it like that just so uh, people don't see what other people's attendances are, even though they'll probably know at practice. Okay, so that's pretty much it. And then we'll click um, select recipients. And there's no recipients here right now, but you just click next and then it'll ask, who do you want to host this event? So, um, you know, this kind of thing, you'll put whoever's in going to host that and then, or it might be you. So you just leave it you and then save. And then it'll, you'll just click show imports and it'll show your practice at 545 today. And then these check marks, so the blue check mark, or if the check mark is right here, it'll that notifies you that that person is coming or there's how many people participating in this event. Um, same thing here. If uh, let's see here. So you see that there's attended and declined. And then I think one of them is, um, oh yeah, one of them is like questionable, hasn't seen it yet. So that's the in the case of if you click the uh, attend by, or ha members, have to, uh, members have to confirm attendance, that's what this one would be. And then if they decline, then they it'll show up over here. Um, next thing, posts. So posts are also important. So you can post in the main group or one or more subgroups. So in this case, I've got two subgroups um, right here and I could post in a subgroup and then I could just click one of them or both of them, which in this case, you would just do a main group message. So in that case, you would make your title. So I'm just gonna make an example. And then um, And then you can add an image. So I, this is something good for parents. If they take pictures at a game or an event, then you can add your picture here. You can tell them how to do that. And then you can add an attachment. So if you need something to go out to the players and the parents right away, boom, you got it sent out right away. Uh, and then you make it visible by, you know, you can make it visible by just members. So your team, or you can make it visible by members and guardians or visible only by guardians and adult members. So there's another little caveat to that. Then you create, uh, create your post. So there you go, there's your post. Now you can see who's seen it by clicking here. So I've seen it, you click out of that. Now, I don't really do this part of it, uh, these last two, um, but you can. So payments, um, payment requests, you can do like add payment requests, title, you know, description, like you're doing a post, due date, um, type required or optional. So, um, like add a payout method and all this stuff. So very easy, um, you know, these, if you wanted to do this, I don't know if it has a fee involved. I've never tried that part of it. Um, but just, you know, I'd look that up, but this is just kind of a rough description of what I would use. Um, for polls, so you could create a poll on what do you guys want to do for team dinner, stuff like that. 
Um, so there's a text poll and a timed poll. Um, you know, make a list of text options and then uh, suggest dates. So the I'm guessing this one's just gonna give you suggest what dates we should do this event. And then um, a text poll is just like a regular poll. So if you wanted to do, you know, maybe you have team captains, you want to do that. Then you just tell your players, vote on the app and you're good. And then you can set them as, I'll just do one right now. So you can hide their vote, which I, you know, if you want to keep it, um, keep the votes private and make sure that everyone gets, make sure there's no bias and you can show them after, uh, then that's how you do that. So, um, so what I would do is write maybe captains and I spelled that wrong. I know that. All right. And then multiple choice. Oh, I know. Okay, so this allows the same person to vote multiple times. So you do not want that for captains. Um, and then you will set a due date. So maybe it's, let's say the 10th at nine. And then you'll add options. So you put the name of the kids or All right, so just making up a poll. So then you see who votes and once they, the votes are in, you can check them out right here. Um, and just quick, easy, uh, very straightforward. And then the member section. So this is the last section. Um, so this is where the members will be. So you can click on a member and then in within that member's profile, there will be like a, his profile, you can create a type of profile uh, where it has them, their guardians or guardian and a, a place for them to put their phone number, email, um, I think it even has a birthday, address even if you want to do that, you don't have to, That's these are all optional things, um, except for like the name, you know, you wrote their name. Uh, and then you have where you can create a, a different text or a different um, category. So what I do is I'll ask for, you know, all those, maybe not definitely not their address that's and definitely not their birthday but you know that type of thing i'll ask like what's your grade what grade are you in or something like that and they'll put in their grade so that's just for me to keep track of everyone and i change that every year um and that's basically it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys uh, find this useful and I hope you guys can uh, download the app and see how it works for you guys. And we'll see you guys on the next video. See you guys.